Hey, it's me. So, remember that worst case scenario we talked about for this party? Yeah, I'm literally on Holly's balcony alone, hiding like a goon, nursing an orange solo cup of Diet Sprite. Pathetic party of one, my table's ready. Seriously though, feel free to come pick me up anytime starting five minutes ago. Call me when you get this, okay? Bye. <sighs> you scared me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Halloween party, I guess it's appropriate. I suppose so. <laughs> Rough night? Oh gosh, did you just witness that? What? Uh, what may go down in the annals of time is the saddest voicemail ever. I'm the saddest ever. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I guess I should have been paying more attention. <laughs> uh, I'm, excuse me. I'm sorry, did you like like want some privacy or something? I can get out of your hair. Oh, no, no, I'm just getting some fresh air, I guess. Oh, okay, good, actually. People always say that in movies. Say what? Oh, like, um, they say like, oh, I just need to get some fresh air, or they like say they have to go to the bathroom, but get in there and just like splash water on their face and then stare at themselves in the mirror for a few seconds, but. It's always more than just like a dirty face or smoky room, so. Not your scene? Understatement of the year. Not a Halloween fan? No, no, totally. It just, um, service was bad and I just can't, um, be in there right now. No. Why not? Do you like scary movies? No, not really. Then you'd hate my life. It was that bad. Rated R for emotional gore and scenes of intense terror and embarrassment. Yikes. Yeah, mega yikes. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Sorry. I... <laughs> I don't mean to be like writing you invitations in my pity party. I'm missing like this overly dramatic, sad person. It's fine. You're really not missing much in there anyway, trust me. Oh, is the thriller dance mob still going on downstairs? I fear it may never end. Spooky. Yeah. I'm not much for the dancing anyway. I really have no business being in there at all. But... Yeah, I'm happy I made it to your pity party before it was too late. <laughs> yeah, it's been kind of a weird night for me too. I just um, just started this new job. Everything's a little. I don't know. So, so let's just let's get out of here, kiddo. Let's you and me. Let's just scram. You'll hit the bricks. Sorry, I don't even know what that's supposed to be a reference from. Can I just give you a blanket apology for everything I've said in the last two minutes? On the scale of one to ten, I am a total mess. I shouldn't even be saying words right now. Hey, it's okay. You know, it's Halloween. It's the one night of the year where you can pretend to be someone else. So as far as I know, this is all just part of your costume. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I mean... I guess, I guess that was part of the idea of coming out tonight, was like being someone else, or like... My friend was giving me this pep talk about like taking the high road or whatever, like getting outside of myself and actually leaving my room, but I don't know, now that I'm here, like lying on the cold hard ground in my bedroom seems pretty preferable. What are you supposed to be? Drunk. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, well, I had this Optimus Prime mask and I was gonna wear that in a tux and go as Optimus Prom, but I don't know, as I walked out the door it suddenly seemed supernaturally lame and I couldn't even really see through the eye holes so I said fuck it and I don't know, I had this cape so I guess I'm self-deprecating antisocial guy in the balcony of a Halloween party wearing a cape. <laughs> it's original. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about you? Why aren't you dressed up? Oh, um, I was gonna be a dark and stormy knight. Oh. Well, I guess I see the dark. Where's the stormy? 
Yeah, see, this would have been the part where I pull out the water gun and I shoot you in the face with it, but alas, no water gun. <laughs> That's funny, though. You should have done that. Really? Yeah. Really? I don't know. My dad didn't think it was very funny. Your dad? Yeah. I just realized that probably sounded really weird, like he dresses me or something, but no. I promise it's not, like, a weird thing. How old are you? I, I just live with him, and I work with him, and he kind of runs my life, so. Oh. Oh, okay, I mean, that's nice that you have a dad that will even talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. I don't even know my dad's email address. It's his loss. Yeah. So how do you know Holly? Uh, we dated, actually. Really? Yeah, in this alternate universe where I liked girls, yeah. She was my first kiss, sixth grade. Football game, go Buccaneers! Touchdown! <laughs> it's, it's really ridiculous thinking about it now. It was underneath the bleachers. There was this rumor that night that we went to second base. Everyone was so shocked. It was like super scandalous. I don't think anyone in sixth grade even knows what second base is, but I was bad at the bone in junior high. <laughs> and now I drink Diet Sprite alone outside of parties. <laughs> I'm not alone. I'm Trent, by the way. I'm Graham. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. So what made it the saddest ever? What? Uh, the voicemail, if I can ask. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I just realized that no, was no, totally no. not uh, my business. No, it's okay, it's like, I was just, um, I was just uh, like leaving a voicemail for my friend to have him come pick me up ASAP. You party hopping tonight? N hardly, I just need to get the F out of here. Oh, when you turn into a pumpkin at midnight? <laughs> um. Did you see Freddy Krueger in there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's my ex-boyfriend. You dated Freddy Krueger? Yeah. Freddy Krueger broke my heart. Wow. 9, 10, never sleep again. I'm sorry. Yeah. And did you see Quail Man? That's his new boyfriend. Oh. Yeah, the guy he left me for. Ugh, that's rough. Yeah. Hence the balcony action you're witnessing. And now subsequently the legendary voicemail. I didn't know Freddy was going to be here. Let alone rubbing his razor fingers all over Quail Man's tidy whities doing their not so private version of the Monster Mash for the whole world to see. So, have you ever had your heart broken? It's the major suck. I haven't actually. Will you see those lucky stars up there? Count them. Wow. I mean, usually I'm the one that's all doom and gloom, but you're really giving me a run for my money right oh now. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. I will. I will shut the fuck up. No, no, no. I asked. <laughs> anyway. Sucks that Freddy Krueger did that to you. Well, thank you. What made it even worse is I dressed up as Quillman two years ago, and this guy did the bell part wrong. You know, you should have brought the water gun to Dark and Stormy Nights. Actually, it's a very funny idea. I would have beaten Optimus Prom in a costume contest, I bet. Can I be really honest with you for a second? Sure. I'm not totally sure I know who Optimus Prime is. What? Uh-uh. You don't know who Optimus Prime is? Do Transformers Robots in Disguise? No. Are you? Wow. You're missing out. He's a total badass. And very sexy for a robot. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe I should Google him. Although I think I'd prefer self-deprecating antisocial guy in the balcony of a Halloween party wearing a cape. <laughs> Did Marshall put you up to this? What? Marshall, did he like, did he like pay you or something to come out here and say all the right things? Nope. Okay. Are you lying? Because that's totally something Marshall would do and right now you're kind of like this Halloween mirage that I'm not even sure is real. I'm not. I swear. Okay. I'm trusting you. Just a mistake I've made before. You seem like a really nice guy. Yeah. So I've heard. What, is that a bad thing? No, I just... It's like I've heard that so many times, it's like it's... It's just like... Nice, ugh, you know? I think you're running out of time to be someone else. Oh my gosh, you're right, it's November in like 15 minutes, fuck! What was my costume this year? You usually get pretty dressed up? Uh... Kinda, yeah. I guess I dropped the ball this year, though. 
Do you have like a favorite Halloween costume you ever wore? Um, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, my friend has this theory that there's only three kinds of Halloween costumes, sexy, scary, and silly. So I guess this year I'm silly. scary. Oh. No, <laughs> no, I, I guess I, I just, I, I was just saying scary because somehow bumps in the night or monsters under the bed seem Disney compared to running into the ex who broke your heart at a Halloween party where you don't know that many people. And your ex is Freddy Krueger. Yeah. All that time I was dating a child murderer, I should have known. Yeah. Sounds like a match made in hell. <laughs> That's funny. You know, you should meet my friend Jason. Oh yeah? Yeah. He's like 6'6", six, six, wears a hockey mask, carries a machete around. Oh, yeah, the thing is like I already dated him, but it's like the problem was he was always trying to cut me down. Oh, but I bet staying with him would have killed you. Yeah, and honestly, I just felt like he was following me wherever I went. Man, he loves his mother. <laughs> I thought you didn't like scary movies. No, I just think they're funny. I can see that, I guess. But you do have some pop culture knowledge. Your lack of Optimus Prime kind of freaked me. Uh, homework. Yeah. Are you sure you're not a conversation prostitute? A conversation prostitute? I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't know, never mind. You never answered my question, by the way. What question? Oh. Oh, favorite Halloween costume? Um, I don't know. Uh, there was this one year when I was like, I was like 11 or 12, you know, right when you're not too old to think Halloween's lame, but you're not too young to go trick-or-treating by yourself, like prime Halloween time, um, I went as Wolf Boy. I'll let that one slide, it's pretty obscure. It was the show that was only on for like a year, and I was obsessed with it, I couldn't get enough. It was basically about this kid who would turn into this like snarling, raging werewolf from the night of the full moon, and that year on Halloween, it was a full moon, so I had to dress up as him, and he had this like orange flannel shirt and these like ripped up blue jeans, and I got this really hairy mask and this like super itchy fur that I put on my hands and my feet, and I basically just like wreaked total havoc on my neighborhood. And <laughs> do you remember I was saying just like a, a second ago about how how nice is like a word I've heard so much it's like completely lost its meaning? Well, my friend Marshall, who I was just on the phone with, or like leaving a voicemail for, says that people take advantage of my niceness, like Freddy Krueger being one of them, and. I don't know, like, even when I was a little kid, I just remember people always saying, like, what a nice little boy I was, like, goody two-shoes or whatever, and I guess, like, for Halloween that year, I wanted to be something bad. And Wolf Boy would always say these, like, really mean things, like, insults, like, calling people ugly or whatever. Um, like, he had this one catchphrase that was, your face looks like a trash can, which doesn't really make any sense, but <laughs> I was trick-or-treating with a group of friends of mine, and I decided to, like, go all Wolf Boy on them, like, start saying, like, mean stuff, and... It just made them laugh, and so I started saying stuff that was like even worse, like like I said some pretty nasty stuff that night, and it just made them laugh even harder, and it kind of pissed me off, so I I snuck away from the group, like through the woods to this like other neighborhood where I knew that no one would know me, and I found these hedges, and I just, I was just waiting behind them, waiting for like someone, anyone that I didn't know to like come by that I could scare, and not after long, these, these two girls came walking by, and they're both dressed as flappers, which I think is like the dumbest Halloween costume anyone can possibly wear, let alone like 10 year olds. And I waited for just the right moment and then I leaped out and howled as loudly as I could and both girls screamed and this one girl, she like burst into tears, her face got all red and they dropped their candy and ran away. And immediately, like goody good, like Trent or whatever, I felt so bad and so guilty and so ashamed and I ran all the way home. Didn't even take the candy. But I don't know, like, at least at the beginning of the night, it felt good to rage because because I could do or save whatever I wanted to because it it wasn't me because it was a costume. I wasn't poor defenseless little Trent. I I could be bad because it was a full moon because I was Wolf Boy. Well, I guess we're lucky it's not a full moon tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why'd you ask? Just wanted to see you smile, I guess. Oh. <laughs> okay. So how do you know Holly? Oh, I don't. Oh. So are you, like, Halloween party crashing? Yeah, I guess you could say that. That's cool. So what brings you out here, then? You do, actually. What? Yeah, I'm here for you. What are you talking about? <laughs> You know, I told you I just started that new job. Tonight's my first night. Oh. 
Okay, I'm sorry, what, what does that have to do with me? Well, I haven't actually started yet. Technically, I'm on the clock in about three minutes. Okay, um, what happens in three minutes? You die. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. God. Marshall's got a weird fucking sense of humor. Marshall won't make it here in time. Oh. I'm so, is this like a reference to something that I don't get? Oh, okay, so what, are you gonna kill me? I'm not gonna kill you. But you will be dead before November. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you talking about? I shouldn't have said anything. My dad is gonna be so pissed. Okay, thanks for being a grade A weirdo. I think I'm gonna go back into the party now. What? So like what? I go back in there and I die? Yes. And what does that have to do with you? I told you it's my job. What's your job? To be here when it happens. I just got here a little early tonight. Okay, so how do I die? I can't tell you that. I've told you too much already. I'm sorry, who are you? Is this where you have a dumb Halloween joke? Are you scared? Don't be. Everyone will always remember you for being such a nice guy. Hi, Dad. I know, I'm sorry. Couldn't resist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know. What? Oh. Happy Halloween to you, too. Bye.